Story lad. How are you, boy? What's crack? What's going on? Loads going on. Not Flat much. to the fucking mat. You got a different one to me, did you? Ah, uh, here. <laughs> what one? What's it say in yours? O'Hara's Extra Irish Stout. Dark chocolate and vanilla flavour. Okay. What's yours say? That's different. Mine says O'Hara's Irish Stout. That's it. Award winning. Fuck you. I, you got your chocolate and vanilla flavour. It doesn't matter. Let's, let's just do this. I thought it would be... Pump. I thought it was something a bit funky. All right. Dark chocolate and vanilla. All right. I thought, is, is that just the brand? Um, well, let's just adapt and overcome. Like we always do, Cozy. I'll try this. You try that. Sounds good. We just had to believe each other. Double review. Yeah. Double review in one. Now, I believe O'Hara's <coughs> is still owned by an Irish company and brewed in Ireland, not like Guinness, Kilkenny, Beamish, all the other ones which are owned by Diageo and Heineken and all Diageo them. Diageo so is, is English, is it? I actually don't don't even know. Right. I think it's English, yeah. Um, well, what percent do you have on yours? Mine's 6%, so good, strong stuff. Ah. Mine's 4.3, ah, so quite different. Hell. Like, yeah, the whole a bit here. chocolate, vanilla, mocha, all this sort of sounds like a lot of drivel to me. So I just grabbed this in Tesco. I just, lads had told me get O'Hara's and I just saw O'Hara's. I didn't think there was different ones, but we live and learn that. Well, this one uh, says it was champion trophy and gold medal draft winner at the 2000 Brewing Industry International Awards. <clears throat> Deadly. So, award winning um, stout. Yeah, you were saying it's it's in Ireland. Uh, it says here, Carlow Brewing Company, Bagnallstown, County Carlow. So yeah, go on to lads. Bagnallstown boy. Some spa. Um, and yeah, dark chocolate and vanilla flavors combined with the dark mild chocolate. mocha aroma. Mm, okay, some fucking head I'm on such that. Such a hipster lad. Some head on that pure hipster drink. <laughs> I'm getting a bit of fizz on mine. It's not too um, bad. Here's fairly great. flat looking. I'll go for a taste. <laughs> no, not feeling that now. I knew that chocolate thing would throw me off. It really has. It does. There is an element of chocolate in it. But do I want chocolate in my pint of stout? No, I don't. Um, <laughs> again, it's, it seems like it's just one of these, which is grand. Different lads like it. Different strokes for different folks. Lads like experimenting and all, but it's just. I'll, I'll give it a chance. What are you saying anyway? What are you saying? My first reaction is that it's it has the same taste as other porters that, that we've tasted, but it's a lot lighter. So it's like other porters are thicker, they have that kind of real thick feeling as it's going down, but this is more watery, I suppose. And but do you it, think that doesn't mean that the flavour is lacking? It's just, I get it's just you, I get not you. as thick like you know. It's kinda of like beer or whatever, but what's yeah. your opinion on, on stout in bottles in general? Does it not just seem like it just turns to shit when it's in a bottle? I know cans aren't amazing, but bottles just seems even worse. Yeah, so we probably don't even know enough about this. No, we definitely someone don't. Someone was commenting that in in a bottle it's CO two, and then in a <sighs> in a can it's the nitrogen or something like that, you know. And the nitrogen gives it the creaminess. Yeah. Whereas the CO two gives it that. I don't know if yours is kind of fizzy, but mine. It's pretty. It's fizzy enough. It's a little bit fizzy, sort of. Yeah, a little bit of that kind of cokey sort of taste off it. So um, I'm getting like, but not a bad, or what were you gonna say? I was just gonna say, mine's not bad. I, I think I think it's all right. That's good. Um, again, I think a little bit like these. I think you said it in a previous video. We might need to build up the taste for it. The like the acquired taste. Yeah. Like to me, it's something. I think you said it as well. You could see yourself liking this if you tried a little bit more. At the moment, maybe. Not so sure, but it could be something that you get used to. Yeah, I get. I know. I do get that. Um, I got that with the Guinness West Indies, which I thought was going to be rotten. But I think I'm. I'm definitely going to have to get the one you're drinking and maybe just do a quick one and put it on Instagram or something because it's kind of unfair. Yeah. I don't want to go slating them because it is mad shit. But if I'm reviewing this chocolatey one, um, especially extra Irish stout, the Guinness Extra is fucking horrific anyway. So 
you wouldn't be expecting big things. I'm getting, it's first gulp, you're like, okay, that's not bad. It's like stout, bit of a chocolate taste. Kind of can work with it. Just getting this, then about three seconds later, just get this real rotten aftertaste that's like, not even, like, like taste of like, like dirt or something, you know? Not even a See, a yeah, yours is interesting because I, I, I like, I don't mind cocktails with a little bit of chocolate taste and vanilla taste or coffee and that sort of thing, you know? But it sounds like it's not, it's not as good as it sounds. No, you really just, two, three seconds after, just, ugh. I don't know, I reckon you'd like this more than, more than me. But, Jesus, score wise, I don't even want to give it a score. And the likelihood of, of drinking it again. To be fair, like 6%, it's always going to be strong. Extra stout, we know that. It's just mad bastards who like the extra stout. Yep. So I can see the appeal, chocolate, vanilla, all that. But for me, not my cup of tea whatsoever. Still going off my, my, my normal scale. It's going to have to be a 3.4. Um, would, wouldn't... Would, I will drink the rest of this, but I'll struggle through it. So I can't be giving it any sort of a decent score. But again, O'Hara's great Irish brand. So don't not buy it because of that. But I will try Cozy's one. Um, but yeah, Cozy, give us a verdict there anyway. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's not bad. It's it's certainly not lovely. It's it's a little bit fizzy uh, for me. It You know, I like that sort of... Yeah, yeah non fizzy dry taste you get you get with a pint where you get kind of that physio physio I don't know if it's the CO2 or whatever it is. However the taste isn't bad. Um and again like I said it's probably something I may be able to acquire a taste for. I would go mid sixes, I go I'm gonna go six four for this. So you'd oh no so you you would have it better than Murphy's Yeah I would. Okay. Yeah. That's a bit for, I, I think for what for what it is, yeah. yeah. There's a bit of hope for O'Hara's anyway, <laughs> if they're watching. Um, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, we might even just, in terms of this stuff, fucking go try it yourself. I am not the chocolate, vanilla, mild aroma, stout guru. Yeah. It's stout and maybe beer, but not that fancy shite. So yeah, don't take my word for it. We'll take Cozy's word on the, the, the original O'Hara Stout. 6.4, pretty decent score, especially at a bottle because it just seemed to be always rotten at a bottle. But um, yeah, you saved O'Hara's anyway, Cozy, they like you. Right, Cozy, that'll do. Another cracking review, and we'll talk to you again. Sound, lads. All right, lads. Listen, Cheers. Fucking, we don't really say it, but thanks for all the subscriptions lately. And if you're not <coughs> subscribed, Subscribe and that, yeah. Cozy, help me here. Like the fucking channel and do all that great shit. And exactly, lads. And listen, we, we have we have plans for lots of stuff to do. Oh, we got plans. This is all man. we can do at the moment. <laughs> this is all. <laughs> this is all we can do at the moment. Uh, so this is all we're gonna bring you. We're doing our best. Yeah. Um, but when things come back, watch this space. Oh, fucking Jesus! It's the insane. second we're allowed into a pub. Hold me back. <laughs> but yeah, right, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks right. again. <laughs> <laughs>